Baruch Hashem, today is day number 288 of our daily study of Ramam Sefer Mitzvahs. And in the three chapters a day study track of Mishnah Torah, we are beginning a new book, book number 13 out of the 14 books of Mishnah Torah. It is entitled Sefer Mishpatim, the book of judgments. Uh, this is civil law about uh, certain legal relationships that people have to each other. The first set of of halachas is called hilchas schiros. Schiros means rental, renting as opposed to buying. Um, and the first mitzvah that we're going to learn corresponding to those laws is positive commandment 243, which is the mitzvah to follow the Torah's rules regarding the responsibilities of a paid watchman and a renter. Okay, now, why a paid watchman and a renter? So I should probably give you a little bit of background. There are four what we call shoimerim, or the singular form is shoimer. A shoimer means a guardian. Um, Sometimes they call it uh, a watchman. But the point is, this is somebody who has somebody else's property. Now, why does he have somebody else's property? There are four categories, halachically, um, that we break this situation down into. Okay, so we have a paid watchman. That means somebody that you pay them compensation to watch this thing. I'm going out of town for a while. Um I need somebody to dog sit. Will you move into my house and take care of my dog, right? That's a paid watchman. All right. Then there's a renter. A renter is somebody says, "Um, I got to go to a dog show. Can I rent your dog? (laughs) I I don't know. Can I rent your dog for the dog show? Okay, sure. He knows a few tricks. Okay. Uh, Then there's an unpaid watchman. An An unpaid watchman is somebody who's doing you a favor. You say, um, you know, I'm running inside right now and uh, I'm leaving my bicycle out on the street and I don't have a bike lock. Will you watch my bike while I go shopping? Okay, unpaid watchman. And then there's a borrower. Borrower is somebody that is asking you for a favor. Could I borrow your bike? Okay, so you got the four categories, the paid watchman, the renter, the unpaid watchman, and the borrower. Okay, so here's the deal. The paid watchman and the renter have basically the same rules. So that's one mitzvah, and that's the mitzvah that we're learning today in Hilchas Schiros, the laws of rental agreements, basically. Okay, so the 243rd positive commandment is to uh, follow the Torah's laws regarding the paid watchman and the renter. Paid watchman basically is getting money for having responsibility for your uh, property. Uh, And the renter is paying you money and then taking on responsibility for your property, right? So they're basically the same rules. And um, that means there are really four categories of renters, but three sets of rules. You follow that? Okay. That Let's say it's an animal we're talking about. That's that's the classic example. Okay, so this watchman, one of these four forms of watchman, is watching a cow. If the cow is stolen, you know, cattle, what do they call it? Cattle rustling. Somebody comes and rustles the cattle, steals the cattle. Okay, so the watchman and the renter, that means the categories that we're talking about in today's mitzvah, have to pay the owner its value, okay? Why? Because the guy who's getting paid to be a watchman, is, you're getting paid to be responsible. Now you 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 got the thing stolen from out under you. You you have to pay for it. And then the guy who's paying, meaning he's a renter, so also he's taking on a certain responsibility. You know, go go rent a car from uh, a rental company and then don't return it. You'll see what happens. They'll make you pay for the car. Okay. Um, And then an unpaid watchman, the guy who's doing a favor, is exempt from paying for it as long as he takes an oath. He has to take an oath. Okay. And then the borrower has the highest level of liability because, after all, the borrower is the one who he's he's in the whole situation because 
To begin with, he was asking for a favor. He only has the cow with him because it was a favorite to him to have it. So he not only has to pay if it was stolen, which, which when something is stolen, it's considered a little bit out of your control. But even if the animal just dies, which is totally out of, out of his control, he has to pay for it. Okay? So that's a little bit of a glimpse into the four watchmen. That's our mitzvah for today. We'll see you for more tomorrow, God willing. <laughs>